let's read this just part with when he went to Lot's door. Genesis chapter 19, verse 4. Genesis 19 and 4. I wonder how they're going to change this one with their with, with their new LBGT Bible. Okay. Read. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, can pass the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. Old and young surrounded Lot's house. Lot was the righteous in that country. Read. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, uh, verse 5, And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? So you know they were in prominent positions and had watch and all that. You could not go into another house or to another area of Sodom without these and power knowing. See? So they had watch and that town watch and all that to make sure that they had control over the whole area, the whole city. So when they heard that two new guys walked up in, into Lot's house, whom they haven't took the pleasure of dealing with yet, they, they knocked on Lot's door, everyone. They had children around and everything to show you that they, they perpetrated this action on children to the point where it was widely accepted among Sodom and Grimoire, that behavior. And say, well, listen, those two guys that just came into your house, us, uh, Lot, where's those two guys? What, what do they want to do with these two guys? Bring them out unto, uh, unto us. Bring them out of your house, Lot. That we may know them. That we may know them. So, the Sodom, these Sodomites wanted to rape these men who were guests in Lot's home. See? Now, I know a lot of you think this is uh, a little extreme, but brothers and sisters, open your eyes. This is the society we're living in right now. Okay? This is the society we're living in, what we're reading here. How many stories you heard about when people go to jail and all that? And what happens to them? They get forced upon. Where did that spirit come from? And now, they have let that institutionalized thinking out on society now. It's in your schools now. It's all amongst you now. Where now these same spirits are now having their way with the Most High's creation. Doing everything so they can get their hands on our young men. On our young women. Making it where we, we are supposed to say it's okay. You were born that way, which is the bold faced lie. But this was in the Old Testament. Read it again. And they called unto Lot and said unto him. And here's another thing that's deep. Here's something that's deep. And I want, I'm just going to show you the importance of the Bible. Everyone out there is attacking the Bible. Right? Without the Bible, where would the moral compass be concerning homosexuality and sodomite behavior? What record would we look at to institute a law to stop this from happening against us? Now, do you see why they're attacking the Bible? If the Bible, if the Bible is the only book that's really pointing out that ill and what to do against it. <laughs> you understand? And showing one how to repent from that behavior if they've been molested or dealt with. The Bible is a healing book to get them out of that particular type of behavior. So without the Bible, what, what other record is it that can identify that behavior. See? So, so be careful claiming that you want the Bible. The Bible is really not a good book and you don't want to deal with the Bible. Be careful with your statements. Because what happens to a society without the Bible? And to prove to you how important the Bible is, Satan's greatest uh, uh, accomplishment, the daughter of Babylon, is against the Bible. To show you how great the Bible must be. America herself is against it. But go ahead. Uh, verse 5. Go ahead. Where are the men which came into thee this night? Where are the men that came to your house, Lot? Bring them unto us that we may know them. Bring them to us so that we may know them. So they were looking, they wanted, they didn't know that these guests at Lot's house were angels. In Genesis 19. They thought they were just regular guys. 
Because angels can take the form of man. Okay. So they wanted to rape these guys. Okay. The most high one like say, you know what, you get your family prepared. You, your wife, and your children. Because I'm going to rain down. I'm going to destroy this place. So what do you think is going to happen to America or Babylon for instituting laws that, 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 that actually makes it right for these, these demented spirits to operate throughout all of society and then have an initiative outside the United States to go to African countries and all other countries that have a moral compass and make it where they can't receive no finances or no funding unless they receive the LBGT movement, the sodomite movement. Judgment is coming. If the most I did this with Sodom and Gomorrah, look at Sodom and Gomorrah. That's the future of any society that perpetuates that behavior. And they know that. Those that rule this earth and that, and that are operating with the, with the forces in dark places, they know this. They understand this. But they don't want your preacher to teach it. They don't. And they made sure right before the very end, they had everyone sign a pact not to bring out the next agenda that they would use as a weapon against the Most High's creation. 501c3. They had you sign a pact. Because they knew they was going to release them throughout society as a weapon against the chosen people of the Most High. And, make, and, and, and guess what? There's no doubt about those that deal with this behavior. They hate the Most High. They hate Him. They can't stand Him. Okay, now they do love God. But not the God of the Bible. They love the God that would accept their behavior. And that's Lucifer. Read on. Verse 6, Genesis 19 and 6. Now look what Lot tried to do here. And Lot went out at the door unto them, and shut the door after him. 7. Now later on, I, I can't go through the whole story because i got to go to the New Testament next. Later on, Lot said, well look, I'll tell you what, let's do this right. I have two daughters that haven't been touched. Why don't, why don't, why don't we do a ceremony in which you can marry I marry my daughters off to a few of y'all. Just so that y'all don't disrespect my guests. <laughs> you understand? So Lot was